Hi, Sam. You missed me? Or are you still mad at me for what happened years ago? <laughs> Sam, you have guts to be messaging me. You really think I'd ever forgive you after what you've done? I don't know why you're contacting me out of nowhere, but piss off! I don't want to talk to you. Oh, you're still mad at me. <laughs> you shouldn't hold grudges, you know. It's bad for your health. So what if I stole your wife's heart? <laughs> if she really loved you, she wouldn't have divorced you to be with me. I'm not mad about that anymore. I just don't want anything to do with you anymore. So leave me alone. Are you sure? Because you still sound like you're mad. <laughs> How about we catch up and hang out like old times? No, I don't even want to see your face anymore. Come on, it'll be fun. Let's go grab some drinks together. Stop. Why are you even messaging me out of the blue? I was happy not hearing from you for years. I'd be happier if it'd stay that way. I just wanted to introduce you to my new girlfriend. Who's also your girlfriend. Ha! <laughs> but now she's mine. I stole your woman once again. That's all I wanted to tell you. Are you serious? Or are you joking this time? I really can't tell. I'm serious. I saw you walking around with this woman, so I figured she had to be your girlfriend. After you two parted ways, I went out to her and flirted with her. She gave me her phone number just like that, and we've been dating each other since then. You should stop dating women who easily cheat on you, man. It's about time you learned a lesson. You saw me walking with a woman? What? When was that? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Are you so shocked that your brain just stopped functioning completely? <laughs> My brain is fine. I really don't understand what's going on. I have no idea what you're saying. I guess it's not easy to take in the fact that you got your woman stolen by the same person twice. I don't think I would have been able to stand it if I were you either. <laughs> I'd be having a hard time accepting reality as well. But there's nothing else to do but to accept it. <laughs> How does it feel to have your woman taken away from you again? But I don't have a girlfriend. That's why I've been telling you that I don't get what you're saying. I haven't had one for a while now, so I have no idea what you're talking about. There you go again, trying to escape from the reality by pretending you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's just so pathetic. I stole your girlfriend, Jane. She's tall and slender, but has some nice curves. She's so hot. Thanks for introducing me to her, man. Oh, right. You didn't really introduce her to me. I just took her away from you. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. <laughs> so you finally decided to take a look at the reality and accept what's happening? Good. Now tell me, how does it feel to have your woman taken away twice? <laughs> uh... That's not my girlfriend, man. Jane and I are not like that. We don't have that kind of relationship. But she said you two are going out. I confirmed with her, so don't even try to mess with me. What did she say to you? There's no way she said I'm her boyfriend. She said that the person she was walking with was her boyfriend. She said she wanted to break up with you. But you wouldn't let her go, so she was getting annoyed. She said you started weeping whenever she tries to leave you. You're such a loser! <laughs> I cried over her. What? Why would I do that? Stop pretending that you don't. She told me all about you. You should toughen up, man. Don't show your pathetic side to her. It's embarrassing. Look who she's with now. You lost her because you are a loser and I was right there to take her when she went looking for something better. <laughs> no, that's not it. You're misunderstanding. Is that what you did when you tried to stop your Michaela from abandoning you to be with me? Did you cry and beg her to stay as well? Did you? Anyways, whatever happened to Michaela? Aren't you still with her? I dumped her a long time ago. <laughs> she wasn't really my type anyways. 
Plus, I don't stick with one woman for very long. That's just not my thing. What? Are you serious? You stole my wife's heart just to throw it away? You really are worse than I thought. I can't believe I was ever friends with you. If I had known you were like this, I'd have stopped hanging out with you right away. There must be something wrong with you. It seems like you're more interested in ruining people's relationships than building one of your own. Unbelievable. You're disgusting. Go ahead if you want to get back together with her. I'm done with her. <laughs> she was not that fun to be with after all. I got bored really fast. And I don't cry over women like you do. <laughs> I'm not a sore loser like you are. I move on to the next woman right away. You got bored of her? How dare you say that? I let her go so that she could be with you because you had a point. If I was making her happy, she wouldn't have cheated on me to begin with. I thought she'd be happier with you. But you dumped her because you got bored of her? I see now that I made a mistake. I really loved her back then. Oops, sorry. I just can't help it being so attractive that she fell for me. My bad. Though it was never my plan to be with her for very long to begin with. So I guess I'm not really sorry. <laughs> Ugh, I've had it with you. It's a waste of time talking to a jerk like you. I have stuff to do. I don't want to hear from you, so I'm going to block you. Wait, don't go yet. What do you mean you have stuff to do? I figured you probably got so depressed from losing your wife to me that you ended up being homeless. So I don't see how you'd have anything to do. <laughs> Are you getting enough food? Are you starving? If you need help, I can look up some food shelters for you. Stop making fun of me. I'm not homeless and I have no reason to tell you anything that I'm up to. So please, stop talking to me and mind your own business. I'm so fed up with you. Oops, it seems like I made someone mad again. If you want to go do your homeless stuff, that's fine. But I'll keep talking to you because it's fun. And you have plenty of free time to talk to me, right? Since you don't have a job or a girlfriend anymore. You might think you're pretty funny, but as a matter of fact, I actually own my own company these days. I'm sure knowing that won't change your behavior, but it'll probably still eat you inside. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm going to believe that. You don't have what it takes to even hang on to a woman, much less start a company. I could care less if you don't believe me, but I'm not lying. Now, just leave me alone, please. No, I won't leave you alone until you tell me the name of the company. What is it called? I cry and beg when my women leave ink. Or is it, I'm a big loser limited? No, that's not what it's called. I'll send you the link to the company's website. What the? I know this company. I mean, anyone has heard of this company at least once. There's no way you started this company. <laughs> you could have at least chose something a little believable. I started out while I was still working at my previous job. It finally started getting the recognition it deserves. I've had a lot of people supporting me and the company to come this far, though. I didn't know you had the potential to be successful. You always seemed like such a big loser who couldn't do anything. Well, I guess I'm a loser in the sense that I let my wife be with you thinking that you two had actually fallen in love. I'll give you that. But her leaving me made me want to start a business so that I could take my mind off her. In a way, I lost something very important, but at the same time I gained something. In a sense, that's all thanks to you. I was thankful for that until you started talking to me again and reminded me of how terrible and annoying you are. But you lost your woman again because of me. <laughs> how could you lose her to me, even though you must have so much money? You really need to work on being a better man or women will keep leaving you for me. I told you Jane is not my girlfriend. We're not like that, so stop saying that. But she told me you're dating already. You can't keep being in denial that she's leaving you just like Michaela did. Man, I must be undeniably attractive for a woman to choose me over a rich guy. Women can't help but want me. It's not my fault for her leaving you for me. <laughs> I don't care anymore. You can just think whatever you want. 
Can you now leave me alone and go mind your own business? Now someone is acting all calm and cool. <laughs> but you can't fool me. I know your soul is crushed, but you just don't want to show it on the outside so you don't look like a loser again. So what if you're a president? What's the point of owning a company and being rich if you can't even keep a woman from leaving you? I wish we were talking in person so I could see the look on your face. <laughs> How about we carry the rest of our conversation at the bar we used to go to? I told you to leave me alone. Why would I want to go grab drinks with you? You're the last person in the world that I want to see. So stop talking to me, man. Man, you're boring. Don't be like that. Let's have some drinks together. Goodbye, Sam. Don't you ever message me again. Hey, you big liar. Why are you messaging me again? I thought I blocked you. Did you make another account just to talk to me again? Well, I'm a man who gets a lot of chicks. I need multiple phones so that they don't know I'm with other ones. Anyways, you lied about being a president. You don't own a company. You lied so that you'd look good, even just for a little. You're such a loser. <laughs> what? I don't get what you're talking about. I didn't lie. Why do you think I'm lying? Just because you lost your woman again, it doesn't mean you can lie to me. That's just not cool, man. You shouldn't tell lies. I don't get why you're so confident that I'm lying. I'm not lying. That's because your company doesn't have an office. Is this some kind of pyramid scheme or something shady like that? <laughs> I don't have an office for the company, but it's nothing shady like that. How can a company not have an office? That's really shady, man. Uh, I guess some people can take it that way. So, you're a scammer, aren't you? I hate scammers. I'll crush you and your fake company. So you just wait. I'll destroy your company until you're left with no money. Alright. How are you going to go about that? I married Jane. Are you surprised? Uh, you married her? Are you serious? You didn't think I was going to marry her, did you? Also, she's pregnant with my baby. Man, I wish I could see the look on your face right now. Is that so? Congratulations, I guess. Be a good father to your child, at least, since you were a terrible friend to me. That's the least I hope from you. I bet you're crying as you typed that. <laughs> Don't contain your emotions, dude. Let them show. I want to see how in despair you are. I'm not in despair. I'm actually a little happy for you. Also, I thought you'd leave her, even if you got pregnant. I'm glad you're taking responsibility in marrying her. Are you losing your mind or something? <laughs> now that I've figured out you're a scammer and have married your girlfriend, you can't even think straight anymore. Sure, maybe that's it. I don't know. I never understand what you're talking about and now is no different. You just keep thinking whatever you want. <laughs> what is it, man? If you have something to say, say it straight to me. Don't make me come over to your house. I still remember where you live. I'm not beating around the bush. It's just that it's too funny. <laughs> What's so funny? Don't laugh at me. Well, first of all, let me tell you about my company. Our company doesn't have an office because we think it's best this way. No, it's because your company is fake and you scam people. You think only fake companies don't have offices? Owning an office costs a lot of money, so a lot of companies now are opting not to have offices. It's becoming a thing of the past. Instead, every worker in the company works from home. How is that possible? What about the meetings? Where have you been the past few years? We conduct all our meetings online. It's something that's possible due to the technology we have today. Though not all companies can operate this way, but ours can be done 100% online. We use Zoom and other tools to communicate with each other. There are rare cases when one of my workers has to come to my house to solve a problem together, but it's mostly done online. So, that website is real? Your company is not fake? Now do you believe that I'm not a scammer? I actually own a company. Okay, 
So what if your company is real? You still lost your woman again to me. Ha! <laughs> You're still a loser anyways. About Jane. She is one of my employees. You were sleeping with your employees? Ha <laughs> ha, I guess maybe I misjudged you. I knew there was probably a reason we were friends. Ugh, don't project yourself onto me, please. I did meet up with her at a cafe, but it was nothing like that. I told you we don't have that kind of relationship. Huh? What do you mean? I noticed something in our numbers that didn't add up. It led to a big loss for the company, so I decided to meet with her in person as soon as I found out it was she who did it. That day, I was only asking her questions about that. Yeah, right. But she told me you were her boyfriend. Now that I understand that she works for you, I understand why you might try and lie about it, but come on. The cat's out of the bag already. I'm not lying, really. I keep telling you that you have the wrong idea, but you just won't listen. I don't know why you keep insisting on me lying, though. It's not like I lied or tried to hide anything when Michaela left. That's exactly why. You're so embarrassed it happened again. Whatever. Anyways, I just fired Jane and filed criminal charges against her. But she really said you're her boyfriend. I think you're really focusing on the wrong part of the story here. Your pregnant wife just got fired and is under criminal investigation. Like I'm going to believe a big weeping baby like you over my own wife. Why would Jane lie to me? I honestly have no idea. Maybe it's some way to get back at me somehow. I figured she would probably hate me so much she wouldn't even want to pretend to be in a relationship with me, though. <laughs> exactly. That just makes your story even more suspect. I'm going to check with her about this. She said she lied to me about that. Wow, what a huge surprise. <laughs> so, why did she lie to you? She said she just went along with the questions I asked her just so that she could get closer to me. She also told me the real reason that she was with you that day. Your story seems to check out. Hmm, isn't it strange that things moved on pretty fast between you two? What do you mean? I mean, she fell for you so fast, then she got pregnant so quickly as well. Now you guys are apparently already married. Don't you think there's a reason behind that? Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. You know, once everything at court goes through and we win the case, she'll have to pay the company a lot of money. What she did was not something to be taken lightly. Yeah, but what does that have to do with me? It means you'll have to help her pay if she doesn't have the ability to pay by herself. No way, man. I'm not going to pay for something she did. Why would I help her pay? Because you're her husband? Hell no! I'm not going to do that just because I'm her husband. Well, then good luck going bankrupt together. I'll just divorce her if that happens. But you'll still have to carry half of her debt too, even if you get divorced. So are you saying there's no way out of this now? That's how it seems. Good luck, man. Dude, can you at least reduce the amount she'll have to pay? No. I'll get her to pay the highest amount possible. I wouldn't be a very good company president if I did anything less. I have to think about the rest of my employees, after all. But I'm your old friend. Surely that counts for something. Do friends sleep with their friends' wives? I don't think so. You're not my friend, Sam. I think you deserve to pay for what you've done to me just as much as Jane does. So this is perfect. I'll never forgive you for messing with me. Please... Let that go and help us out. I'll change my ways, I swear. I'm going to be a dad. Can't you help out a family that is just starting out? Can't I just help out the woman who was stealing from my company and the man who stole my ex-wife and then threw her away like garbage? Let me think about this for a second. No, absolutely not. You're a pair of thieves and I think the two of you deserve each other and you deserve your fates. The only one I remotely feel bad for is that baby, and, considering you're both liars, I don't even have confidence that baby exists. I learned my lesson, okay? I'm sorry for what I did. Now forgive me, please. I'll do anything you say, so please, can you not sue my wife? No, 
Sorry, that's just not an option. No, please, help us. Helping you now would do you a disservice. I want you to learn from this and change your behavior. You need to understand that your actions have consequences. You have no idea how much pain I was in after Michaela left me for you. But I did my best to overcome the struggle of wanting her back in my life but having to accept that she was gone forever. And as part of that struggle, I grew. I started a company and I grew the business into a huge success. This is a chance for you to grow as well. You should look forward to the person you might become in the future. But that definitely won't happen if I just let the both of you go without consequences. So sorry, but you're going to have to deal with it. Don't give me that crap about growing. I've already grown. I'm really sorry right now. I already feel really bad for what I did. So can you please let it go this one time? Nobody changes overnight. It takes days of struggle and hard work to make a real change. Just like how it took years for my company to show visible success. Though my company took a hit thanks to your wife. It's so fitting that you chose to marry someone who is just as much a thorn in my side as you have been. I hope the both of you are happy together because you deserve each other. Jane did not fare very well in the ensuing court case. She needs to pay back all of the money that she stole from my company, plus interest. It is strange to think that Sam will have to pay for it too. Sam asked his parents for help, but the amount is so large that they not only refused to help to pay, they decided that they didn't want anything to do with him anymore for even daring to ask. He's already caused a lot of trouble to his parents that this time they realized that he is too much for them to handle. He was left with no choice but to work multiple jobs to do his best to help his wife pay off the money that she owes. Now that he's so busy working multiple jobs, he doesn't have time to go around stealing other people's wives and girlfriends anymore. When he has time off from work, he dedicates his time to his family. I think he might have actually learned his lesson and really changed his ways. Though both the wife and the husband caused a lot of problems to me, I'm happy that they're doing their best to live their lives without causing any more trouble for others. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Priscilla! So, hey, I think I just saw you. You were at the supermarket buying ungodly amounts of food and drink, right? How come you bought so much? I'm sure there's no way you can get through that much stuff alone. So, I think you should be a sweetie and donate some to your favorite friend, me! Hey, Casey. All the food and drink is for tonight. What? That much for a single evening? My parents, in-laws, and respective brothers and sisters, as well as their parents. Plus, everyone's kids will be coming. Wow, really? Are you having some kind of house party? I don't think it'll be extravagant enough to be called a party. But a bunch of my relatives are celebrating special occasions. So we thought it'd be a good idea to get everyone together at my place and hold a get-together with some food and drink. We decided to hold the get-together at our house. Because out of all of my relatives, it's the most convenient in terms of location and public transport. I see! That's really cool! Which is why every last piece of food and drink I bought earlier is basically guaranteed to be gone by tomorrow morning. Which means I don't really have anything going to spare to give you. I'm sorry. Well, in that case, me and my sums will come along too. I'm sure that won't be a problem, right? What? It sounds like you'll already have a small army attending. You probably won't even notice having an extra three of us there. And yes, my husband's working overtime, so he won't be able to come. But I'll make sure I bring some Tupperwares to take home any leftovers. Great, it's settled then. I'll be there after six this evening. Um, I'm really sorry, but would you please not come? 
What? Why? I told you, didn't I? It's a celebration for my relatives. Don't be such a spoil sport. Let me celebrate too. I'm sorry, but this is a get-together for me and my family. So I'd really appreciate if you didn't come. Don't be like that. I'm a fellow mom. Mom friends are actually like family when you think about it. No, I don't think that's true at all. You're horrible. Besides, you don't know any of my relatives, do you? You'd probably feel weird and out of place. I think this could be a great opportunity for us to get to know each other. That's really not the point of the gathering, though. Ugh, you're so damn stubborn, Priscilla. Anyway, please don't come. I have so many preparations to make, you wouldn't believe it. So, I won't be able to reply again today. Bye, Casey. Ugh, wait! Casey! What the hell do you think you're playing at? Give back the food you took at once! Huh? Uh, what do you mean? You took all of my food, pots and all. Why would you do this? Nope, I still don't know what you mean. You crept in through the kitchen door and stole all of the food that was supposed to be for tonight's celebration, didn't you? Huh? Uh, why are you threatening me like a criminal all of a sudden? How awful! I think I might cry! Don't play dumb with me, I know! You set up a distraction by putting a sound system blaring out gospel music so loud it could have burst through my eardrums by the front door. Then when I went to see what the hell was going on, you took your chance and crept into the kitchen amidst the chaos. After I turned the music off and got back into the kitchen, everything was gone, including the two stew pots I had simmering away at the gas. When I checked the fridge, even the cake I had stored in there was gone. You can say what you like, but you don't have any evidence I did that? To think you immediately suspect one of your closest mom friends. You're so mean, Priscilla. I'm telling the other moms about this. You'll be finished. No more moms meetings invite for you. I'll tell them what a horrible person you are. Suddenly accusing one of your friends of theft and treating them like a criminal without any proof. Proof? I have proof. Huh? There's a CCTV camera in the car park behind our house. Our kitchen door is clearly visible in the frame. Oh, no way. By the way, one of my relatives is responsible for managing that car park which means I was able to get access to the footage basically straight away after giving them a call. Um, wait a sec. When I checked it, there you were carrying away my pots and the cake from the fridge out of my kitchen door as if they were your very own. Then I saw you putting them in the back seat of your own car. Um, that wasn't me. It was probably just someone who looked like me. Plus, CCTV footage is notoriously bad quality. There's no way you can make out someone's face with grainy footage like that. They just had a bunch of new state-of-the-art cameras with excellent resolution installed. Guess what that means? We also saw your number plate. Um, my car got stolen. That's interesting, because my husband just saw it parked up neatly in your drive when he got back from work. The same car we see parked up there every day was in the usual spot. Not a thing out of the ordinary. Um, well, that's because I rented out the same model after my old one got stolen. Why does it have the same number plate, then? Well, I, um... It doesn't look good, does it, Casey? Look, I'm willing to forget this ever happened. If you bring back the food and cake you stole immediately. So what's it gonna be? 
It's gone. Huh? I don't have it anymore. What? How could you not have it anymore? It wasn't even that long ago. I told you, the stew pots, the cake, they're all gone. What? Wait a second. There was enough for well over ten people between both of the stew pots. The cake wasn't exactly small either. Do you seriously ex expect me to believe you eaten what would have taken over ten people an entire evening to get through in such a short space of time? It's all over the back of my car! Huh? Well, I was driving home with all the food you gave me in the back of my car. A cat jumped out of nowhere into the middle of the road. When I panicked and slammed on the brakes, the food went all over the place. All of it. The pots flew off the seat and the stew went everywhere. The cake went flying too. Now the back of my car is a sloppy, mushy mess. I have no idea how I'm going to get all of these stains out. Oh my god. This whole thing is all your fault. If you didn't make the food, this never would have happened. What? If you didn't go bragging to me about Little Miss Important in the first place about how you had all these relatives coming over or how you were going to make all this delicious food or about how you were going to have such an amazing night like... Like you were oh so trendy and popular. It never would have happened. What the hell? Bragging? You were the one who messaged me. We wouldn't have even spoken otherwise. You made me feel jealous, so I politely asked if I could come along with my boys. Who would have been all over the moon. But you refused. There is nothing I could do about it if you didn't want me there. So I accepted. But I didn't see any harm in taking just a little. But for myself, since you probably wouldn't eat it all anyway. And now, because of you, my car's a sloppy, stinking mess. Why am I being blamed for this? Are you completely detached from reality? Because you're the one who ruined my car by making all that food. I wish you never cooked anything at all. Ugh. It's all your fault. You will be covering all the cleaning costs. My car will be spotless. I will also be demanding compensation for the mental anguish you've caused me. Don't think you're getting away with what you've done. You've gone so far off the deep end. I don't even know how to reply anymore. By the way... What? My father-in-law's birthday was one of the occasions we were supposed to be celebrating today. Huh? Your father-in-law's birthday? Have you not figured out what I'm getting at yet? Well, you know how my father-in-law is your husband's boss? You remember that, right? For real? For real. Don't tell me you didn't know. No, wait. You have to be kidding me. Is your father-in-law seriously my husband's boss? If you don't believe me, how about you try asking your husband? My husband just phoned me from work. He said he got an urgent call from his dad in the middle of a business meeting. Oh my god. On top of whatever fate awaits your husband, apparently the police are already on their way. The police? You got the police over some stew and cake? You're blowing this way out of proportion. I really don't think I am. What you did was theft, plain and simple. Theft is a crime, and guess who deals with crimes? That's right, the police. Please, stop it! I'm so sorry, I'll do anything. Just make it stop. My husband will divorce me! Why would you care about your husband finding out? Oh, wait. Could it be that you're actually aware that what you did was wrong? Something tells me that things are about to get very difficult for you, Casey. But I kindly ask that you never come anywhere near me 
my family or my cooking ever again. 